So, the House of Keys is just suspended for lunch, but uh, we had the question time this morning, and Daphne Kane, um, you were talking about the situation with those welders, and at the same time, you're a big fan of the railways. So, a bit of conflict in, in sense there for you, because they, they, they were a massive debate there, saying that it was very urgent that these people had to come over. You, you were questioning that. I was, and I wasn't the only one. Um, I think it hinges on the description of, of work as essential for critical national infrastructure. Nobody's disputing that railways are part of our infrastructure, but are they critical national infrastructure? And likewise, was this critically important that these key workers, welders, came to do this work um, at this part of time in the season? The minister said it was vital that we had the railways up and running for next season. So it does beg the question, why was it... Why were they key workers, critical national infrastructure now? Um, could they have come later in the year? Did it need to be done? And the fact that I've heard the trams are still running mm. from where I live at the weekends, which is a lovely thing, you know, great for visitors and for local residents to have the uh, ability, the, 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 the amenity of travelling on our electric railway and our steam railway. But actually, that, that's not the point. The point is, was it essential for critical national infrastructure that we increase the risk to residents of bringing coronavirus to the Isle of Man? It's all subject to this level of... I mean, Mr Hooper's kind of pushing that as well, wasn't it? Exactly how urgent was this work to be done? Yeah, and it's who decides it, who yeah. signed it off, who looked after the, the workers who came over, the key workers, and stressed the, um, the terms that they were able to, um, what, the, what they had to do, the, how, how they had to quarantine. And it doesn't feel like that was complied with. Were you happy with the, the answers? Because it was a constant, not just from you, everyone kept asking that same type it, of question. It had a huge number of questions. I think that reflects the level of public disquiet over the system, how it's being implemented, and also whether, whether certain departments of infrastructure are getting a bit blasé about what actually constitutes national critical infrastructure, and who should be permitted to come as key workers to do that. Now, they've said there's a review going on, and they've got a separate uh, line for them to arrive in and where to sit, um, and, and the, the, the um, rules of quarantine for when they get here, but it doesn't help that um, the particular key, work, key workers in involved um, apparently brought coronavirus to the island and I think that it's up to everybody to have scrutiny and to have awareness of what is key to national well, critical national mm, infrastructure. The Chief Minister says he's going to look at that of course. They're going to look at it, but it's after the event, and it's did it need to happen? The railways are still running. If it didn't, if it couldn't be fixed until later or nearer the other time, then great. But I mean, to, to bring up the fact of you know, I'm a big supporter of the railways, and they, they didn't operate certain railways. And of course, they have to be operated safely. But it appears that this wasn't needed to be able to operate it safely, um, and then that's that's the the key point.